<sighs> so, uh, going to be uh, making us a, uh, what you may call it, a Mobius knot today. Uh, I've uh, shown before in the past my Mobius ring and all that. Today I'm going to be making more or less a duplicate of this using the same uh, one and a half half Persian three and one. I've, uh, yeah, just uh, kind of instead of putting it into a circle and Mobiusing it, I've turned it into a knot and Mobiused it. And it's all kinds of fun to play with. So let's make another one. Oh, and uh, since this is going to be for thingies and stuff, uh, I'm not going to be starting off with any of the uh, like scrap pieces I had before or anything like that. I'm going to be starting with uh, entirely fresh, with the uh, minor exception that I'm going to be using my uh, little sample piece here to at least start the weave and then I'll disconnect They're the usual thing so I don't have to reinvent the weave. Oh, and I uh, did kind of uh, think beforehand of uh, approximately where to go with this. So I cut a strip of ribbon, the length that I need for, you know, how long I need to make the weave before I can actually knot it. So that's my goal to shoot for. I actually didn't even bother to measure the ribbon. It's just like, right, well, I've got that chunk. <laughs> and make it that long. Ten inches if I had to blindly guess. That'll generally be pretty quiet for the most part, I think, here. Just getting my chain mailing on. A bit different than my usual stream in that I'm not wearing a headset right now. Uh, looks like the computer is picking it up for the most part, so, eh, see how this turns out. I have to come up with a song to put this to though. Uh, for like my uh, whole thingies and stuff project, uh, what I do is I uh, take the recording of the entire project, so it's kind of like a uh, proof of labor type of thing, and uh, then I'll I'll put like the entire length of it length of it up as uh, so you can you know watch it be built. But then I also uh, shrink and time lapse it down and put it to music. So I have to try and think of what music this reminds me of. Okay, and you. Which way is right-handed and which way is left-handed? I, I haven't come up with a good way to uh, labeling my little sample piece here, and just to save time, I'm going to try to match it to this. Slanty up that way, slanty up that way. Alright, looks like we're good. And, uh, yeah, I think... I think the technique that I'm going to use on this one is to uh, more or less make a uh, big giant long strip of uh, half Persian 3 in 1 and then just uh, add in the like third ring to kind of turn it into the uh, one and a half there. So yeah, that's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> do this ever so slightly wrong. One second. Ooh. Ooh, whoops. Okay, how me go at it? Yeah. 
and uh, you go here, go here, go there, but go here, I think. Do those two in the wrong order and it kind of throws me off. Okay, so I figure I'm just gonna make a uh, long enough strip of three and one here so that I can uh, one and a half up the first like half of it or so. And then once I basically have a usable chunk to work with, like say, uh, you know, two, three some odd inches, uh, then I'll sever it off from the like uh, original like core piece here. And then we'll be actually starting with like, or you know, only working with, you know, the material for the product itself here. So yeah, that'll be kind of nice, won't be lobbing on the extra weight here. That said, it's actually really small. It fits in the palm kit pretty nice. I like how it came out. Right-handed and left-handed, I've got it uh, like a sample for. That left-handed weave, that one put up a fight. Yeah, I got it, though. Yeah. I still have yet to make a Mobius ring in that uh, like left-handed weave, so... Gotta do that at some point. We'll see how much rings I have left after I'm done making this thing here. Or thingy, as it were. Uh, a few more. And then we will Mobius it. And then we will sever it. And it shall grow on its own. With my help. This way just slightly. Uh, whoop. And... Yeah, let's try swapping you up for you. Whoop. Come back here, weave. Where'd you go? I know I was looking at ya. No. Seriously, I could have sworn I tamed this weave, but now she's being all ornery and stuff. Uh, go on. Play nice. We need to grab you and you and slide through you. And we slither around over top and pop out through here. And slide underneath this ring. And unfortunately, since I'm doing it this way, I kind of got to close it off over there, but, yeah. I got a pretty decent pattern for uh, putting this one together now. Pretty pleased. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should have posted a uh, link to uh, like the live stream of this on Thingies and Stuff's page. Ah oh, well. Next time, next time. I'm sure I'll be live streaming uh, more items as I come up with them. It's kind of got to be a new invention of sorts for me to want to put it up on Thingies and Stuff and you know the Mobius knot just nicely fit that kind of thing. So yeah. Although really, I should put up a link to my live stream uh, on the website at some point or another anyway. Project for down the road. Project for down the road. Anywho. I am undoing... Nope, you're already undone. I need to go attach you here. doop a doop 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 Let's see, I need to lop it off over here now. Then we'll be done with our little sample piece. Yeah. Here we go. Open and undo. You know, undoing chainmail always kind of hurts a little bit, but then you get to make new stuff with it. It's a mixed feeling. Especially if it's undoing a project that was like finished or mostly finished. Oh, my pair of gloves it was like, oh, I put so much time and effort into you. It's a long sample. And let's keep on chugging away at this thing here. So yeah, now we got a, a nice little chunk. Yeah. I got two cameras going here. Ooh! Next thing to go up on uh, thingies and stuff, or uh, possibly just on my live stream in general, I might try uh, coming up with a way of, uh, if I'm using the laptop, I'd have to come up with some way of dangling it from the ceiling and Getting it to, you know, point down at this, uh, like, tabletop so you can actually see the chainmail being done. Yeah. Project for the future. Come up with the way of doing that. GoPro would be a little bit easier, but I'd still need to come up with some way of dangling it from the ceiling. And yeah, this isn't my house or anything, so I don't really want to punch holes in the ceiling either. Now let's open up our larynx. Also, that mouse can go out of the way slightly. <laughs> You know, another kind of reason I like using a uh, ring tool as a, uh, one of my main chain mailing tools is uh, now it's like I have three tools in my hands at the same time. Got the ring tool there and then two pairs of pliers. Yeah, it works pretty nice. I can kind of swap it up as needed if one gets to a ring better than another or something like that. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna make still a little bit more of the uh, half Persian 3 in one here, and then we'll uh, kind of swap it up a little bit. <laughs> I've watched the other curiosity. Let's uh, do a quick uh, ribbon test here. We take you and we got some while to go. Yeah. Yeah, we got some while. <laughs> oh well, no time like the present to get started. Put a whole lot of like a uh, pressure on your chest or something when you're like making that sound. At least for me, anyway. I like being musical, in my own little way. Can't really whistle though. Like the whole. Okay, I can almost sort of get a whistle sometimes. But you know, if I go with the, like, uh, fingers in the mouth method, oh, I can get some real nice loud whistle there. Not the musical type of whistle, though. Less that. <laughs> I may practice it and get it eventually, but not really on my bucket list. I got humming. And other sounds. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know if you can hear it so much, uh, like without the uh, headset mic being right beside me here, but uh, the click of a good leak or like of a well closed ring. That was a not a bad click. Let's see if I can get a better. It's 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 a nice sound. I like the sound. Yeah. Then the feel of the like edges grinding against each other, like a metal on metal type of feel. Yeah. Debating whether to call this knot something different or just a Mobius knot. A Mobius knot seems like the in all likelihood and likely type of name, since you know the Mobius ring is just the ring form of this. And this is just the Triskelion knot, but Mobius. The Mobius Triskelion knot? Eh, too many words. <laughs> Why am I still using the lines, man? Come here, you. Oh! A uh, random kind of a note. I uh, have been meaning to and finally looked into the uh, brand of pliers here, like H-O-P-P-E, uh, from apparently West Germany. Yeah, so it doesn't look like they're currently a business that I can buy from. Well, they maybe were, but uh, any like anything that had that name didn't look like it made tools, so... 
I don't know, I might poke around a little bit more again, but yeah. Really nice pliers, though. I like this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Eh, maybe we'll start uh, one and a half and get up over here. I like to think that if I were a fly or something, I'd be buzzing with that type of music. Like, that seems like the type of... If I, if I were a cartoon fly, that would be the type of sound I'd make in an old, like, Looney Tunes cartoon or something. Something, something, something. Or maybe a bee. You know, odds are, like on thingies and stuff, uh, the full video of this is probably going to be a lot more interesting to watch than all the other ones, because at least I'm being like musical and stuff here, and uh, previously it was uh, kind of more of just a proof of labor type of video and, you know, it's just me watching whatever on TV or some such like that. Yeah, it's going to be a lot more interesting. Hmm. Mm -hmm. At least more musical. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I need more rings. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
Now you see, I was kind of considering at one point or another uh, making this entire thing, but in a left-handed weave. But the uh, rhythm that I've kind of got going on right now, uh, like it works really smoothly because I'm all opening them all right-handed. But if I swap to left-handed, it would completely throw it off. So that would take me like twice as long. So yeah, I'll save that for another project. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if these players were a little bit grippier they like to slide down over time then I kind of gotta pop them back up into my hand again in other case we're done opening so let's go uh, put together just a little bit more of this and by a little bit I mean all <laughs> you know this pile is not gonna do all of it but get us a good chunk oh speaking of we're getting a decent length here decent length hmm. Should have got a measuring tape. Oh well. Uh, where is my ribbon? Oh wait a minute, I haven't even done any more three in one. Whatever, I've still got like half or double this to go anyway. <laughs> Actually, I may have to double check that just out of blind curiosity. If I am eventually, sure, well eventually, if I am like halfway through it basically, I'm making some pretty decent time. I was kind of guesstimating that this would be about a three, three and a half hour project. So we'll see how uh, close this gets to that. What am I sitting at now? Half an hour. Three, three and a half. That's what I'm shooting for. Ooh, three hours of humming. <laughs> <sighs> that may be quiet at times, but we'll see. Bit of a chain mailing marathon here. Mm -hmm. Probably gonna be a break in the middle. Wait, is this right? Yep. No, I must open a little bit extra. QE were open too much. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Just a little bit. It's just wrong with you in general. Oh, also, I opened up this ring left-handed, and that kind of... You're doing the third ring on this uh, particular weave. That really kind of isn't possible if the ring is open the wrong way. I guess if you got it a significantly looser AR, it would be possible, but uh, not on this particular ring size. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ring at the start that time. Swapping back to adding just the uh, half Persian 3 and 1 here. You've got a fair amount of this 1 and a half up, and uh, yeah, no, yeah, that part's all 1 and a half. Like I said, where in the world did that ribbon go? Come here, ribbon! Point! Okay, what are we sitting at here? Still got plenty to go, but we're at least halfway through it. We're not even halfway through it. <laughs> close. Vaguely close. Then comes connecting the two ends, which is a whole different beast. <laughs> Doing not too bad, though. Not too bad. We'll add a whole pile of one and a half. Or, sorry, not the one and a half. We'll add a whole pile of uh, just the uh, half Persian three and one here. And see if we can get most of the length down with that. And uh, when you add on the uh, last ring, it kind of shrinks up the weave a little bit. So, yeah, I could, like, make a little bit extra, but eh, I'll just kind of zigzag back and forth between the two types of sections here. Yeah, onwards. You know, 
I'm beginning to wonder if maybe that is ridiculously way too long and the Mobiusing of it in and of itself like screwed me up because this length is pretty decent. Give me a second here. Almost start to tie like a small knot, which is more or less what we want. Of course, that's nice and loose, so still need plenty more length. Hoping that it's further along than it was. <laughs> Wasn't the case. <laughs> Just a heads up, I think I'm going to take a, a quick break at about the, the uh, hour mark and uh, yeah, I'll kind of uh, close the uh, video and so forth at that point. Uh, take like a quick 10-15 minute or something and then come back after that. Uh, play that by ear as the time gets closer for that and all that such. But we still got some wine. Onwards! <laughs> Actually, I'm probably not going to hum quite so much. Can I give my breath a little bit of a rest here? Yeah, just the enjoying the quiet sound of clicking for the most part. And me prattling in every so often. <laughs> I really hope you can hear that clicking well. Be sitting 
keep on putting my ribbon down in this silly place. There you are. I should keep that somewhere handier. Ooh, we're close. Like an inch and a half left. And then, you know, the uh, shrinkage that'll come with that uh, one and a half it up. But uh, it's a start, it's a start. So we'll just finish this last little bit here until we match the length and uh, then add a whole lot more of the third ring on. Yeah. There we go, somewhere around there. And now a step two. So yeah, we've got the, did that, did that, something, 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 something. Let's make it happen. Probably should do it properly. One thing about this weave, if you're partway through and you make a mistake, you know instantly. <laughs> right at the start, if you're making a mistake, I've gone a fair length without uh, realizing it, unfortunately, on a few occasions. Got that sample piece now. Got the sample. I have a sample. A sample piece of this weave. What I have is the sample of the weave. This weave, I have a sample. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> Probably getting dirt all over my face as I try to touch a slight itch. for being quiet. Mm. 
for one moment, I hear a cat at the door, and it's a shame to leave a cat unfulfilled, shall we say. Meow. You want to see him? Meow. All right, maybe not. I'm sorry, we just have a cat wailing outside. Yeah, whatever they can push the door open. Correctly, also, you. Or just push your way in. Okay, they're definitely like scrubbing at the door this time. <laughs> All right, two more seconds. Let me finish this uh, ring here. All right, sorry, one more moment. Meow. Okay, I've come to believe that the cats are now playing a game with me, and nuts to them. <laughs> Must they, you know, actually start wanting to get into the room. <laughs> You can hear that, but there's definitely a cat scratching the door now. You can finish pushing the door open, I'm not even moving. <laughs> yeah, I heard them running off. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I could be doing this slightly more efficiently if I were, uh, like, not putting down that other pair of pliers. And eh, maybe I'll try that in a minute here. It's kind of annoying with the lines, Mins. Oh well. Hey you! Who actually decided to come in the room this time? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that one's Shaft. <laughs> I would like to keep the eh, whatever. Getting closer to the end here. Got to say, I think I might actually try to uh, tackle this in uh, one swing here. Uh, we're not quite an hour in yet, and I'm like, I want to say most way through. <laughs> Of course, anything over half is most. <laughs> Actually, let's try tying you in a knot here. Let's just let's just see what we got to work with. Not bad, not bad. It would technically be connectable right now. It would just be a really tightly balled up, not really play withable knot. Uh, our length might not even all that be all that far off from uh what or what you call it three three and one half ah half Persian three and one yeah that and uh the one and a half might not be all that much difference between the two <laughs> with or lengthwise <laughs> Ooh, I guess kind of an added bonus, I'll have a uh, backup of the video of this on uh, Twitch as well, so I'll be able to link that on the page. Hey! <laughs>
Okay, there we go. Let's just double check we actually got this weave proper all the way through. Ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. Giving it a slight twist uh, really kind of helps with that. Kind of locks everything into place and yeah, we're looking good. So, are you big enough to not? Actually, out of curiosity, where'd Mr. Ribbon go? Mrs. Ribbon. <laughs> I guess it'd be Ms. name. Oh, it actually looks like I have an extra, like, uh, inch and a half. Okay, so it didn't change the length at all, like the adding the third ring, so good to know, good to know. Doesn't stretch or shrink when you're finishing the weave. Now, if we were to tie into a knot... Okay, is that going to be long enough, or do I want it looser? Then i got to remember that it's also got to be Mobius on top of this, not just having uh, one side linked to the same side. You know that ribbon uh, was really only kind of a vague ballpark too, so I'm pretty sure we got it about the same length, since uh, these two side by side, I don't know if you can see too well here, are more or less about the same. I'd say we're about good. We're about good. So, originally you go there. Players, you go out of the way there slightly. We don't need any of these rings anymore. Just one. That get out of the way. So we're going to lock these last two rings off here. Okay, and now comes the uh, fun part. Oh, sorry. I accidentally bumped your camera angle. Okay. Now comes the fun part of uh, tying it in a knot and then actually making sure that it's mobiest. So, there we go. Uh, like, twist it over like one third. Whatever that'd be. Okay, so I think I got all of the pointies up here. Do, 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 yep. So that would be a completely unmobious knot. So now I need to rotate you one chunk like this and then connect you together. Oops, I opened this ring up left handed. Quick. There we go. Give me you again. This is the trickety part. One down, assuming I got that right, which I'm hoping I did. I opened this up left-handed too? Come on, Tannis, what the hell? What about you? Okay, you're right. <laughs> and here's another cat. That one's butters. Okay, which ring did I add in here? I added you in incorrectly. So, that first ring that we just meticulously put in, uh, let's go and yank that out. <laughs> yeah. uh, connected up the two of the wrong planes here. Okay, you are that family of slanties, and you need to go over here. So you need to be on that side of that ring, over there. Double check. OK, 
Okay, I think we're good. Hopefully that one's in right. It's really kind of hard to tell the uh, last few rings when you're connecting the two ends together. Give me a minute. Number three. Might be right. Let's try closing this ring and see what happens. Maybe, maybe. Something's not right. Nope, not right. Undo! Undo! That side, okay. I think that side's good. Double check. Why does something not look right about that? No. I think we're good. Give me a sec, I'm being paranoid now. This wing can look right on so many levels and then just not be. You know the right side of that ring over there. Side over there. Here we go. Let's just do a quick double check here. Make sure that the, uh, yeah, it's actually Mobius thing. Because if not, then I gotta undo it all, or undo the end and uh, redo it. So two seconds here, two seconds. Also, thank you. <laughs> okay, so we'll follow this side. Do, 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 do. This side goes over here, and then it, excellent! We're Mobius thing. So yeah. Just something fun to play with in your hands. Mm. <laughs> anyway, fun stuffs. That said, I will, uh, I guess, uh, end the video about here. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, I shall see you, uh, I guess, Monday or another time. Later.